Hi guys and welcome back to the show. Today we continue building my credenza or turntable stand. If you haven't seen the first videos in this series, I'll post a link to them up here. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right down to this. Luke, I am Nomad Makes. The aim for today is making the tenons and dry fitting the sides and the back. Cutting the parts closer to their final length on the miter saw, I used a template to assess the grain pattern before making the cuts. This is my CMT grooving blade, it's a 6mm wide flat top blade and all the joinery in this project is based around this blade. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Many of the parts needed a 6mm groove to accept a floating panel, shaker inspired. The side panels will have three ribs each and these will not be fake, so they need uh, grooves on both sides. While Baby Vader uses the force to make the camera focus on the tool wall instead of my workpiece, I try to show you this buckle combination square and I make sure to score the lines for the tenons well. Oh, thank the lord we are back in focus. This is white oak and it splinters very easily, so scoring the lines quite deep is a must. I am currently using this little folding knife as a marking and scoring tool, Paul Sellers approved. As always you will find affiliate links to most of my tools below. Getting this 2mm reveal just right and having the grooves meet up was important for me in this build, but more on that later. A 
And next up are the front and back rail, which are the longer parts. They need some special attention. The more observant of you may have noticed that the drawers are in the wrong position. The tallest ones are on the top, not the bottom. But since the pen is mightier than the table saw, I used a mechanical pencil to correct that. For the longer parts, I am fitting an auxiliary fence to my crosscut sled. This way I could use a stop block to reference against. I am a big proponent of using relative dimensioning. And this is my story stick for the longer parts, meaning the front and back rails. The little tab you see there on the stop block is the real stop. It is thin enough to allow the tenon to slip over it. That way I get the correct distance from shoulder to shoulder and not from the end of the tenon to the end of the tenon. As you see here, I have uh, only cut one side of the tenons. I did this to make sure I got just the right 2mm reveal on the legs and have the grooves flush. But in hindsight I should just have cut both sides of the tenons at once. When cutting the waist off here, I used a spacer to make sure I retained enough length on the tenons. Then it's back to what I call the Quasimodo posture and pulling the sled till I felt like a reindeer at Christmas.
Ah! <sighs> A knife wall is such a good help when using a handsaw. This is my Luna Tenon saw by the way. Look at that sexy mirror smooth secondary bevel on that chisel. <laughs> Again, using the Baku combination square for repeatability. I have several of these squares in my workshop, and I will leave an affiliate link for these in the description below. Thank <laughs> you. 
I wanted to try cutting the cosmetic shoulders on the lower side rails a different way and I used my even finer Japanese pull saw for this. So this is the back side. We have a little dent here, but okay. But check this out, check this out. There's absolutely no gap along the joint here. And you can see the lines, the lower side here. Yep, it's perfect. With Baby Vader lurking in the background, he was responsible for focusing the camera, by the way. It was now time to score the lines for the ribs. Here I'm using another story stick. This one is for the distance between the upper and lower rails. Relative dimensioning for the wind, guys. And finally, here we have a dry fit of the side panels and the back. But again, that is it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave a thumbs up. If this is your first visit to my channel, please consider subscribing. Should you want to support me, you'll find a Patreon link and affiliate links to products I use and recommend below. If you don't feel like that, you can help by telling your friends about the channel on your social media of choice. Cheers, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. So this is my flat topped, flat, flat topped, flat toothed, flat toothed blade, flat topped, flat tooth grind.